Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my presentation. So in this short few minutes, I'll be introducing to you the competition that I am involved in, uh, some things about me and also some results and conclusions that I've gathered at the end of the preliminary round so far. Okay, so firstly, right, uh, my team name is uh, Cosine Pace and I am Sang Rui Hong representing uh, Raffles Institution Year 5-6 and I'm from Club Automatica. From my past experience, I have participated in National Junior Robotics Competition and also last year my team and I participated in the RoboCup Lego Rescue. So uh, this picture on the right is me. Okay, so uh, you might ask what is cold space, right? Uh, so this competition is about picking up objects uh, generated at random. So this red cyan as well as these black ones and depositing these objects into these orange uh, deposit zones while avoiding these uh, yellow and blue traps. Okay, so these boxes above tell us that you can only collect uh, six at a time before depositing and collecting more. And then these light gray areas are the boundaries. So if you go out of those, you uh, respawn and get frozen for 10 seconds. The dark gray ones, these two, uh, slow, you, slow you down and these rectangular boxes things right uh well, if you go inside them you basically lose information about your uh coordinate data temporarily okay so the point of the game right is to get points within this six limit six, uh, six minute time limit and uh my strategy is actually quite simple which is just to use the three ultrasonic sensors uh placed at the front at the left and at the right to uh, avoid obstacles and also the color sensors located on the left and on the right to pick up different color objects uh, as they give you different points. So later I'll elaborate a little bit more on the things that you'll see. And overall I think it was done okay and I got close to 1200 points. So you see you start with 100 right here. Okay so now I'll talk, to, uh, I'll talk about something that is actually pretty fundamental uh, which is actually just not how to not to hit stuff. And what we use is this thing called proportional steering, which is also commonly associated with another thing called PID control, which if you search on uh, Google, it actually gives you this. And uh, this is actually quite confusing and quite complex. So uh, I'm not actually going to talk about this, but I'm just going to bring it down to simple terms. So back to this one, right? Uh, how it works is that the closer you are to an obstacle, for example, this thing or this like, tree likes things right so the more that you turn away so that you you don't hit it and you don't get stuck and this works for uh how to say both axes so uh if there's something on the uh in, in front right then you'll turn away from the obstacle and if there's something on the left or on the right then you also turn in the opposite direction to not hit the object so next i'll show you a test run now Okay. So basically, this is one of the test ones where I uh, only collect uh, five objects, although you can collect a maximum of six. Uh, so basically, you can see that right now it's picking up the objects, and then uh, it blinks this light to signal that it, it has really picked up some of the objects. And the way I said it is that after four, uh, basically, you'll start to turn and then go back. You, you can see from here. And then you can also uh, pick up along the way, uh, so it's a way of saving time. And also when it reaches these traps, right, you uh, use this trap to avoid, uh, basically to reposition itself and adjust its position and then reach the deposit zone, where it slows down and uh, goes inside the deposit zone and then comes out. Then you can see like the score will increase, which shows that I finished depositing. Uh, so you can see from here. See, deposited successfully. Okay, now right, uh, as you can tell from the name Rescue, so this is going to be related to the res rescue of disasters victims in the real world from dangerous situations. And this is often uh, undertaken by uh, unmanned robots. Uh. So for example, in Japan, right, where uh, they frequently have tsunamis and earthquakes, unmanned vehicle and robots are often sent in to find and rescue the victims. So uh, for game just now, we can actually imagine the objects to be people being found and deposited outside of refuges and thus 
um, safe. Though. And so, right, the avoidance of obstacles as well as finding a quick way out are actually uh, pretty crucial as they uh, could boost rescue time and also success rate, which could easily mean less life loss in the face of these natural disasters. So you can see here would be basically what we are looking at. Uh, so uh, real robots that, that could drive remotely to search for survivors. Yeah, so this, this part is actually quite important. We hope that we can actually use some of the things that we found out and learn uh, in this simulator into the real world next time. So I hope that you have found my sharing informative and interesting as this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you and have a nice day.